put your heart right here.
start with negative two. Okay, so let's all put it in our calculator. Three. Yeah, so it's gonna stay in What is the equation? What do we put in first? What was our first nine? And then what did you get out to your output? Where that's my point that I want you to draw. Well, when we're using for geometry. This is one of the things I actually received off of a grant. So I was excited to have it set of these for our classroom. What was your answer? Yeah. This was something you dropped in. I think it was just three or I could write it over here. Oh, we don't have to play with the number sign and we're using the number code. Yes. Okay, so y equals 3x plus 1, correct? Alright, so in our calculator. Lives are so busy and our world is growing more and more in disrespect that we feel that if we can teach these principles, they are being recognized at home. I had a parent last year say, my son is opening my car door because we also teach common courtesy. Good character is teaching kids to be good and not just do good. It's teaching students to have self-respect. Manners is not a set of rules that students should be taught, but it's principles that we are trying to develop so they can use these skills and character traits that we're teaching now outside and that will be something that they can carry on throughout their life. In one year I had 57 percent decline in discipline referrals, so they're getting more education in the classroom. I had 34% increase in reading proficiency and 17% decline in retention candidates in one year after implementing Manners of the Heart.
And finally, one day I was sitting down, I was just reading one morning, and I just really thought about it and was like, I just feel like that would be the ultimate giving, would be to give my kidney to someone. So the classes I teach are leadership and service, but the foundation of both of those is character. And we try and expose a lot of you know leadership things that aren't based upon character, that they just become more areas of positional leadership or authoritarian leadership. And so what's the character that you want to lead with? That's going to be the basis for the type of leader you become. Or even our, in our service, you can do service that is just to eye please other people or to get a pat on the back. But it, with the foundation of character, you're going to be coming from a place that's going to continually give and continually sacrifice. So character is the foundation for both those courses. To be like, wow, how much am I willing to give when it's sacrificially, and also, is it better to give to receive um, in that situation? I'm just thankful I'm that that's recognized as a um, teaching character and teaching leadership and service are seen as valuable um, parts of a high schooler's education. Unfortunately, today in society, in, in the world, and even in many families, there's not good demonstrations of character, there's poor leadership, um, there's a lack of service. And so I'm thankful to have these 30 young minds uh, that I kind of see as these blank canvases to help them paint their attitude and approach to life and who they're going to be not just in this high school but beyond and how they'll contribute to their families, how they'll contribute to society. Um, at the end of the day, I don't want to leave an impact of a grade on their report card or their transcript. I want to leave an impact upon who they are as an individual. Thank you.